let's be honest, neither one of us has a lot of time to waste. My nap time actually starts at 2 p.m. So I'm just going to jump right in and ask you some questions. I'm physically attracted to you. Are you physically attracted to me? Okay. Okay. Are you single? Okay. Are you in a situationship? Is there anyone who believes you are not single? Okay. Let's see. Do you want a serious long-term monogamous relationship? Do you want marriage? What is your spiritual life like? Actually, who is Jesus to you? Are you a parent? If so, do you have more than one baby mom or more than one child? Okay. Have you healed from your past relationships and or childhood trauma? If not, are you searching for help? Do you have a therapist that you see often? Do you believe in entertaining multiple women as a source of attention or to stroke your own ego? Do you have a legal form of income? Do you have your own transportation? Do you have your own residence? Okay, okay. Thanks for telling me. Do you have a passport, TSA pre-check, or clear? Got it. Do you enjoy beach vacations? Got it, got it, got it. Thanks. Thanks for confirming. Based upon your scores, I do believe we are compatible. How soon can you plan a date? What up, team? So I know this is a skit, and I know this young lady is making light of what dating is like in uh 2023 but you know there's some truth to this uh what i'll tell you is there's no more trust in relationships and dating um a woman like this you know you go on a date with her and she asks you all these questions because number one she's looking for a finished product she's not looking for potential she's looking for you to be the finished product the perfect man for her and number two they're all looking for the same types of man so when they select that type of man that they're looking for, you know, they want to ignore the red flags. They want to make sure that there's no red flags. They want to make sure that, number one, you fit the bill of being six foot, six figures, six pack, you know, <laughs> a big cucumber. Uh, but at the same time, they want you to be monogamous. They don't want you to have options. They don't want you to see, be seeing anybody else. They want you to be able to, at a at a moment's notice, be able to travel and whim through the through the uh, line with the TSA pre-check and the global entry. You know, they want they they want you to actually be the perfect person. And there's so many contradictions. And you know, it's 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 so consistent that these women don't know what the hell they're looking for because they keep on choosing the wrong people and not looking for a good man. Now, all these questions can be answered and a woman would be happy, and all the guy has to do is just lie. You know, if you fit the bill, if you fit the archetype that she's looking for, if you're that lit guy, if you have all that attention, that clout, you know, if, if you're somewhat famous, or you're somewhat good looking, you know, she'll ignore all those red flags. You know, a lot of those questions, you just lie, and she will proceed. Now, women know who the good men are. Women know, because they always save those guys for last. They save those guys for when they're outside their prime, you know, when their body is not what it used to be, when their youth is gone, when their fertility is gone, when they've had multiple children, when they're either divorced or having a difficult time trying to lock down the guy that they want. You know, that's why they save the good guys for last. You know, good, good men finish last, but it's up to you fellas, if y'all gonna put up with the BS 
or you're just gonna let these women continue to just go through this carousel is what we like to call it but anyways love to hear your thoughts what do you think about this uh i think this is very accurate <laughs> i think it's funny because a lot of those questions yeah you would like to know the answer to you don't want to walk into a situation where you know somebody is the wrong fit for you and finding out two years down the road but anyways love to hear your thoughts thumbs up for the algorithm leave it in the comments see you guys in the next one Peace.